So the very first thing I'm going to be doing is going in with this aloe vera body gel. And I love applying this to my face because it feels super hydrating and fresh. And then I'm going to be blending in this Pond's face cream with this coconut oil. Um, and I just love blending these two together because it feels really, really hydrating. And it's always very important that you have a very nice hydrated base or that you prime your face very well before applying foundation for the best application. I'm going to be going in with this infallible L'Oreal foundation in the shade 103 and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face and I actually applied way too much but it's okay. We'll work with it and I just blended it out with my finger and then blended it out with a damp beauty blender. Always make sure to blend it down your neck. You don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. And then I'm going to be going in with this concealer from Maybelline and applying it underneath my eyes, on my upper lip, my chin, the outside corners of my lips, and my forehead and nose. And then I just went back in and blended it out with a beauty blender. Make sure that this is very blended. I even went back in with my finger just to make sure that there was no creases. And then I went in with this Revlon foundation. It's just super light and just for a little extra brightness underneath my eyes. Um, blended it out and then applied the Fit Me 110 powder. And I just used the sponge that it came with and really packed it on and then blended it out with a powder brush. And then I went in with my favorite bronzer, the Hula bronzer, and I applied it to my cheekbones my temples my forehead my nose my neck everywhere and then i went in to do my eyebrows and i used this anastasia anastasia uh, brow powder and i made sure to brush my eyebrows and then just mix these two together i wish you guys could see all the clips that i did for this it's hilarious i did so many but yeah i just basically just folded my eyebrows and made sure that they were nice and filled in and then I went back in with the hula bronzer and applied this to my crease just for a very warm smoky shade and then I went in with this um, nudes pal palette and, <laughs> and I went in with like this copper metallic shade and just applied it to my lids and for to make it more intense I went in with this setting spray that I believe is from Maybelline but you could even just use water to intensify the color and I just applied it to my lid I just basically kept applying it till I felt like it was showing up how I wanted it to. And then I applied this exposure. No, I used the exposure palette and I got a dark brown shade and applied it underneath my eyes. And then I moved on to lashes and eyeliner. And I just did it off camera because this is so hard for me to do. And yeah, that's the lashes. And then just to make sure that it was very nice and uh, mixed in with my natural lashes, I curled them and applied mascara. Um, I applied mascara on my bottom lashes and on my upper lashes. I did like two coats of this and then I went in with highlighter and I used this Adora highlighter and I applied it on my inner tear duct area, my cupid's bow, my nose and then I actually forgot to apply it on my cheekbones but I went and did that later on in this video. And then I went back in with the bronzer because I really like it when my face is super bronzed and warm and then I went in with um this very light pink blush um I just like applying blush because I feel like it gives a nice flush look to your face and I just applied a very little amount of this to my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead and then I went in with lipstick and I used this dark brown not really it's like a mauvey brown shade and um, a hot pink shade and I just mixed them in and I used like a spoolie that had no product on it to really apply it all over my lips and mix it in. And what I feel is very important is to go in with my finger just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and that the rim of my lips are like very blurred out. That way it looks like you have like the perfect lip. And then here's when I went back in with the highlighter. I sprayed it with some setting spray and that's it for the makeup look guys. Moving on to hair, I just grabbed my hair into a very high ponytail and then just started curling little tiny pieces of this. Um, if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial on this, just let me know in the comments below and I will gladly do that for you guys. Shout out to Perlita. She's the one, she's my cousin from Arizona and she taught me how to do this trick and it works wonders, guys. It looks so awesome at the end. Um, after I curled all of my hair, 
I just took it out of the pointy cell and ran my fingers through it and threw a little bit of hairspray on. And uh, it looks so bomb, guys. I love how this looks on, on the hair. Super cute. And then I just threw on my dress. This dress is from Fashion Nova. Threw on my earrings. Probably pinned a few hairs back. And that was it, guys. That is all I did. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below um, of any video ideas you guys might have for me. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>